Well, day four done and dusted, and it's just me tonight, my trusty University of Oregon Cup. But what a night for the 200 metre runners. Uh, Aidan Murphy, our, na our national record holder in the under-20s, he has to go up against Johan Blake and Fred Curley in his heat. And then Caleb Law goes 20-50 and makes his way through to the semi-finals. Ella Conley, a fantastic effort, just in a beach in the next round, gets top three and goes through to the semis. Fantastic, 50% of those sprinters all the way through to the semis, they get another crack. Joel Bain in the high jump, 227 to 90, did 228 the other day in the qualifying. Fantastic effort. He knows he belongs there and he finishes 10th in an event full of personalities out there. And we finished the night with the 1500 metres. From the gun, it was a cracker. 55 for the first lap. A little too fast for our Australians, unfortunately. Jess Hult, 7th, and Georgia Griffith, 9th. Fantastic effort. That's three top 10s today in day four. Jess Hull now owns the th three fastest top times, and she's done them all here in that 1500 metres. And that equal Zoe Buckman, another duck, another Oregon duck, was 7th back in 2013. Day five, there's plenty more to come, but don't forget, we've got so much action, so many more Aussies showing up. We actually caught up with Henry Frayne after his long jump final, just to discuss, you know, Thoughts and feelings, he's had a long career, he's got Commonwealth Games coming up, and we'll see where that heads for him. Well, day two is done, we're back in the village, and I'm here with Henry Frame, fresh off the long jump final. Now, Henry, at the start of the year, were you even contemplating competing at the World Championships? Uh, no, not really. Um, I was just training for fitness, more or less, <laughs> with Jacinta, and I was pretty out of shape in January, and uh, made the decision to... Uh, I don't know, go around, well, not even to go around again, just to start training. And as that progressed through January, I decided, you know, I'd, I'd compete. And the goal was to just jump eight metres this year. That was it. That was, you know, there was no championships on the horizon. So what, what spurred you on? You just felt that competitive urge or you were just doing the sessions? Thought, you know what, I might still have it? Um, yeah, I mean, I just, yeah, I just started, started training and I thought, you know, give it a, give it a few weeks and I'll be injured. You know, story of my career you know I'm not not getting you know anywhere as near as much medical you know I'm doing my own thing and I just thought yeah you know something will fall apart and uh, sort of went the other way and things just started rolling and nationals came around and I was sort of I don't know 80 percent shape something like that um, and yeah just decided you know what I'm enjoying myself I want to at a minimum uh, finish my career um, or the latter part of my career um, like in, in, a, in a good phase just enjoying the sport uh, you know the reason you get into the sport in the first place um, not all the stuff that comes you know once you end up as a professional athlete you know chasing money and accolades and that sort of thing and yeah the goal is to jump eight meters and just enjoy myself and it just built from there so obviously it wasn't the result tonight that you would have liked. Um, you did make your first world champs final for long jump, but how do you now prepare from tonight to, to Con Games? Yeah, um, I suppose first <laughs> part of that question is, uh, answer to that question is, no, it wasn't what I wanted tonight. Um, pretty disappointing to, to well, essentially come last in the final. <laughs> Not last yeah. overall, obviously it's 12th overall. 12th, but yeah, we'll go 12th. But um, yeah, I... Um, Felt the body was a little shaky after the qualifying round, um, coming off a hamstring strain, and just lacked a bit of confidence um, in the warm up, and uh, probably probably sabotaged myself a little bit, um, not just trusting that things would be be fine, um, and then that just messed with the run up. But um, yeah, it wasn't meant to be, but I came out of it healthy, it didn't hurt my hamstring, and um, yeah, like you said, the next thing's come off games and. Um, you know, even with a pretty pretty poor performance by my own standards tonight, um, I think I was still the third ranked yeah. uh, Commonwealth athlete uh, in the World Championships. So, um, you know, all things going well, <laughs> touch wood, touch log, um, <laughs> then uh, I would expect to jump, you know, a lot further uh, at the Commonwealth Games. And, and the schedule there is with a day gap, um, I think, uh, which the way I'm recovering at the moment. Um, you know, I think it'll bode well for me. Are you going to go get some more more needles in the arm to get that <laughs> hammy going? No, I've, got, I've still got a pretty pretty whopping bruise in the arm. I mean, it was it was interesting. Um, for context, I, I tried some acupuncture with a with an American uh, acupuncturist while I was here. <laughs> 
maybe not advisable um, to young athletes out there, but um, I'm open-minded when it comes to medical stuff. So uh, yeah, it was it was good. It didn't do any damage. It's just a bruise. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and I'll probably stick to uh, to what I know for this next period. Well, hopefully we see you uh, defend your medal from from Gold Coast in Birmingham and uh, get a big one out. Get another finish the season with another eight meter jump. Yeah, that's the goal. Obviously, there's no Luvo um, Manyonga this time around at the at the championships. So um, you know that I, I think that. You know that that sort of puts me in as defending the highest, highest ranked, highest yeah. ranked not Take defending it. champ. Yeah, but let's 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 go with that. And um, yeah, I, f- I feel like the two guys that finished ahead of me today, you know, they were they were obviously better than me today, but um, they weren't beyond my capabilities. So um, I'm pretty confident. Excellent. Well, looking forward to it. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you.